A lawsuit against Governor Bevin goes to court why he says it should be dismissed. Police arrest a school bus driver they say drove his bus while intoxicated. Last night, a Powell County woman called 911 and told dispatchers she had just shot her ex-boyfriend. Coming up, you'll hear that call. This is WKYT News at 6. Good evening to you. The battle over the governor's budget cuts went before a judge this morning. Attorney General Andy Bashir is suing the governor for the immediate cuts he ordered to higher education. Bashir says the governor overstepped his authority, but Governor Bevin disagrees and wants the lawsuit dismissed. Hillary Thornton shows us their arguments in our top story at 6. Attorney General Andy Bashir defending his claims in the courtroom that Governor Matt Bevin violated the Constitution. You can't just pick and choose any cuts you want to make as governor when there is no shortfall. There are laws that prevent you from doing that. However, Bevin's attorney arguing before the judge that there are, in fact, statutes allowing the governor's actions, specifically KRS 48620. Has the right to revise uh, allotments downward. Now, you've got to understand there's a difference between an appropriation and an allotment. The legislature appropriates money. While Bevin was absent from court, the governor's council making their stance for dismissal of the case, arguing it is premature, something Bevin's co-defendant, State Treasurer Allison Ball, echoed. It's a rightness issue. We're here prematurely. If we're here prematurely, prematurely we must be here for political reasons. Another point made by the governor's representation that no universities, the ones they call the injured parties in this all, were not on hand to testify and have not filed their own lawsuit. Governor Bevin's lead counsel, Steve Pitt, claiming that is because they reached a deal with the governor, an agreement he made good on this week, reducing the cuts from 4.5% to 2%. However, Attorney General Bashir says that is an agreement he questions and feels could have been pressured. Specifically says that they're only willing to take a 2% cut if the court allows it. Why would you include that in there? Because those presidents know that it's not legal to cut during a current fiscal year. In Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton. WKYT. The two sides did agree to set aside the $18 million collected from the cuts until a ruling is made. The judge plans to make a decision within 10 to 15 days. The Kentucky Retirement Systems Board wants to know if Governor Bevin exceeded his authority in removing the board's chairman. The governor issued an executive order yesterday removing Thomas K. Elliott. Elliott presided over this morning's meeting in defiance of the governor's order. The board asked the attorney general for an opinion on the matter. This afternoon, Governor Bevin moved forward, naming Dr. William F. Smith of Madisonville to take Elliott's place. The world lost a music legend today. Prince died at his home just outside Minneapolis this morning. The Carver County Sheriff's Office's deputies found the 57 year old unresponsive in an elevator and did CPR but could not revive him. Prince rose to fame in the 1980s, winning seven Grammys for songs like Purple Rain. He paid a visit to Lexington in 1997 when he performed at Rupp Arena. Fans have been gathering outside his Paisley Park studios in Minneapolis to mourn his death. He crossed every boundary, every genre. He broke through barriers all over the place. Prince's cause of death is still under investigation. Scott Pelley will have the very latest coming up on the CBS Evening News beginning at 6.30. Police have arrested a school bus driver on a DUI charge. They say he drove his bus while intoxicated. 59-year-old Brian Fletcher was taken into custody yesterday at Camargo Elementary. Our Garrett Weimer shows us how the investigation into Fletcher began. Brian Fletcher was arrested and brought here to the Montgomery County Regional Jail after court documents show he drove a school bus while under the influence of alcohol. According to his arrest citation, Fletcher's blood alcohol level was .068 when he was arrested at Camargo Elementary School Wednesday morning. The citation says he was suspected of being under the influence as he drove his school bus. Fletcher was arrested at the school, then booked into the jail Wednesday afternoon. In a statement this afternoon, Montgomery County Superintendent Matt Thompson says, quote, student and staff safety is always our top priority. When we became aware of a concern regarding one of our bus drivers, we immediately began an investigation, which resulted in an arrest and a suspension for the driver pending further investigation. We're working with local law enforcement and are following our personnel guidelines, policies, procedures, and state and federal laws. 
Fletcher's blood alcohol level listed on the citation is below 0 .08, that number we're all used to hearing. But you should keep in mind it's against the law to operate any commercial vehicle, which includes school buses, with any alcohol in your system. We'll have more on this story tonight on WKYT at 11. In Montgomery County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. According to the State Transportation Cabinet website, commercial drivers who test higher than .04 can be disqualified for one year. A Bryan Station High School student is recovering after another student stabbed him. Principal James McMillan says a new school protocol used to report problems in the classroom helped them get the suspect handcuffed in 60 seconds. The injured student had non-life-threatening injuries and walked to an ambulance. The principal says he wants to stress this was an isolated incident and Bryan Station High is safe. As always, when something like this happens, we've got to look at our protocols and our procedures in place. You know, we talked today about, I talked to the other news outlets about uh, metal detectors. That was a question that was asked. The community at whole right now hasn't seen that metal detectors need to be something that we've had in there. That maybe needs to be something that I have a conversation with the superintendent and the district office. Is that something we need? I don't believe we need those things here. Police have not released the name or age of the suspect in this case. Tonight, we are hearing the call a woman made to 911 after police say she shot and killed her ex boyfriend. State police say the shooting happened after Stephen Strange confronted Melissa Roberts at her home. She does not face any charges right now. As WKYT's Victor Puente shows us, authorities say this isn't the first time they've been called to the home. A friend of Melissa Roberts says what happened last night was self defense. According to court records, she had an emergency protective order out against Stephen Strange at the time of the shooting. But state police say the case is still under investigation. It started last night with a call to 911. I just shot him and he's laying on the floor. He came in my house. We met the patient on the road. Okay, what is your name? Melissa Roberts. Okay, where's the I thought she's dead. Police say Roberts shot Stephen Strange after he came into her home and confronted her. Friends say the two had dated for about two years. You gotta get an ambulance here. Save his life. Police say Strange died in the home. He was shot in the chest with a 12 gauge shotgun. During that call, the dispatcher can be heard telling Roberts to put down the gun and go outside. What, what'd you do with the gun? I still have it in my hand. Okay, well, lay it down, okay? Did you lay it down? <laughs> hey, Melissa. <laughs> Did you lay the gun down? Okay, can you get outside? Robert's friend came to the home today. She says she had no intention of killing Strange. Mentally, she's just devastated. She just, she said the only thing she wanted to do was just shoot him in the leg, let him know, you know, she's done with being abused. Okay, just try to stay calm, okay? Can you hear me? I'm panicking. I uh, can't stay calm. I just killed a man I love. While there haven't been any charges filed yet, state police tell me they'll present this case to a grand jury who'll decide if there'll be an indictment. In Powell County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Strange's family tells us they can't talk about how he died until they talk to state police, and his funeral arrangements are still pending. It has been a cloudy day as we wait for showers and storms to move into the area. Uh, the good news, the rain will clear up in time for the weekend. How about that? Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is arranging these weekends as really nice uh, parts of the week. Yeah, exactly. And that's when you want the nice weather to fall, obviously, on that Saturday and Sunday. But, guys, we need some rain. And many of us starting to get some of those rains right now. Defender Radar Network with an area of low pressure back across the western Ohio Valley. Typically out ahead of that is where you're going to get a decent swath of some showers and some thunderstorms, and that is indeed what we are looking at. More in the way of some lighter rains out there with the occasional rumble of thunder a possibility. Folks just around the Cynthia area, back toward Georgetown, northwestern side of Lexington, Masterson Station, over toward Keeneland, and into sections of Versailles, getting in on some of those showers and storms that you see stretching again from northwest to southeast, most of Woodford County with at least a little bit of light rain east side of town here on Harrodsburg with a heavier downpour down into Danville, Perryville, back toward Lebanon, Marion County. From there, it's more general run-of-the-mill showers back toward Interstate 65. All of that continuing to work on through the area. Then as we go into Friday, I've got a shower and thunderstorm maker spinning across Missouri. We'll show you what that brings to that Friday forecast with the hour-by-hour -hour outlook in just a few. 
Every year, there are 185,000 amputations in this country. The month of April is dedicated to those people and their fight and determination to live a normal life. Tonight, meet a young man in Lexington who, by all accounts, should be dead. But after surviving a bizarre motorcycle accident, he is now looking to adapt his dreams and inspire others whose lives have taken an unexpected turn. His story is new at 6. Adam Stickney has always felt at home on the ice. It's a place he felt invincible. That was one of my goals was to be able to play very high level hockey. When he wasn't in skates, Stickney was on a bike taking to the dirt or to the streets. At 21, he lived life full throttle. But sometimes life has a way of slamming to a stop. I don't remember any of it. Um, when I got hit, I was knocked out cold. It only takes a glance at Stickney's mangled bike to know that what happened to him last May wasn't good. I guess I had done a wheelie and was coming, making a U-turn to come back the other direction, and another biker wasn't paying attention and was running way too fast, and I didn't have enough time to react. Stickney never knew what hit him. He suffered a brain injury and spent two months in the hospital recovering from multiple internal injuries. He went from thinking he was invincible to knowing he's resilient. So I think it's easier if we do this at the beginning of therapy. Stickney is now one of the two million Americans living with limb loss. While his accident didn't take his life, it took his leg and gave him a new perspective. I've learned you, you can't take anything for granted. I mean, you have to take every chance you get. Adam is lucky. He knows it. And he's not wasting one second dwelling on what happened. I'm alive, and that's all that matters. I, if I'm depressed about it, I'm just going to ruin my whole life. Spend just five minutes with him here at physical therapy, and you quickly realize there's no stopping him. Sometimes his therapist can't keep up. He is a challenge to me all the time, trying to find things that challenge him. And but he is amazing. He doesn't say no to anything that I ask him to do. His new leg has been a challenge, but it hasn't stopped him. In just five short months, he is already on the ice playing sled hockey. He's tried his new leg out on roller skates, and this is him trampolining. Stickney credits Kenny Orthopedics and their amputee walking school in Lexington for giving him the confidence to get back at it. It teaches you things that you're not going to learn on your own. His goal of playing professional hockey has been sidelined, but his new leg has given him a new career goal. I plan on going back to school, um, possibly to learn how to build prosthetics. He wants to do it all. There's nothing he won't try, but he still has another major hurdle to come. The only thing that's not doing good still are my kidneys. Um, I'm ready for a transplant. It's not the life Adam Stickney had planned. He still isn't back on his bike, but he is learning to take his days step by step. Giving up was never an option. He hopes others on his same journey can know that too. They just have to keep working hard. They just don't give up. If it takes you two or three years or two or three months, it doesn't matter. You, you can't quit. You have to keep pushing. And he is doing just that. Kenny Orthopedics is actually sending Adam to the Amputee Coalition this summer so he can get certified as a peer counselor. He says if he can help one other person, that's what he wants to do. He is currently going through the process right now of getting matched for a kidney. The organs failed after that accident and haven't recovered. Life is moving on, though. He's now back to hockey, but this time he's coaching the Dunbar team. For more information on the Amputee Walking School and a new running clinic for amputees, just look for this story on WKYT. UK coach John Calipari continues to recruit new players. We'll show you the latest point guard on his radar. That's in sports. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend for our spring cleaning warehouse sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Oversized sofa $3.97. Serta Queen Mattress and Box $2.88. Go to LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com for more details. Right now, the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During the spring clearance event, new 2015 Jeep Renegade Sports 
just $1.89 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Race into Logan's for your winning outfit and save during Logan's huge derby sale. Our entire stock of over 2,000 name brand suits and sport coats are now reduced with savings up to 60%. Now through Derby Day, save 25% on all Allen Edmonds shoes. Our entire stock of Southern Tide sportswear is now 20% off. Hundreds of famous maker ties are now at least 50% off. And Logan's has Central Kentucky's finest selection of sportswear from Vineyard Vines and Peter Millar. Find your winning outfit on sale now at Logan's and the Tate's Creek Center. It's an all-systems-go weekend at Green's Toyota of Lexington during their 48-hour sales explosion. This weekend only, 0% financing on 10 different new Toyota models, including new 2016 Camry, Corolla, RAV4, and RAV4 Hybrid, with up to $2,000 in customer cash available on select models. And save up to $5,000 off MSRP on new Toyotas with our Green Saver coupon. Hurry in to Kentucky's number one Toyota dealer, Green's Toyota. Great people, great cars, think Green's. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You can play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. What we do is not about sickness, it's about living. Because you were made to live and live well. Let us show you how care is supposed to be. Lexington Clinic, your doctors for life. May 3rd and 4th, EKU Center for the Arts. Get tickets at ekucenter.com. Blue Cross Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at bmaky.com. Right now, the all-new Big M Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. During Ram Truck Month, new 2016 Ram, Bighorn Crew Cap four-wheel drives are only $199 a month. Visit BigMSuperstore.com. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Sky's starting to get a little dark on us across the bluegrass region with some showers and some thunderstorms gearing up and rolling toward the bluegrass region. Let's look outside right now. Nine different sky cams. Look at the sun in eastern Kentucky. How about you, Jenkins and Jackson, with some sun? Now you get into parts of the bluegrass region. We start to see the clouds. E Town, we've had rain. Louisville, we've had some rain. Frankfurt, we can smell the rain. It's getting close. And all of a sudden now, that's closing in on the Lexington metro area. Don't be surprised. Here from Cynthia up toward parts of Falmouth, maybe Mount Olivet, Robertson County. If we don't have a little flash or two of some lightning, now look at Lexington with showers and thunderstorms beginning to take over. Here's a live look as we look toward that western sky that is getting threatening. Downtown way in the distance here. Uh, overall, though, we're going to see some showers and some thunderstorms. We've got Arkansas into play UK this evening in baseball. We're going to have some issues as the rain train gears up from southwest to northeast, and it gets a little heavier here across parts of Jessamine County. And on the southwest side of Lexington, Harrodsburg, Danville, Perryville, really coming down right now, and our yards are... Taking a big gulp right now with the heavier rains coming on in. Eastern Kentucky, you could really use some drops. We'll try to scoot some of that into town. Notice the big spin across parts of Iowa, Illinois, and northern Missouri. Area of low pressure here that will wind up on top of Kentucky tomorrow. Even notice a severe thunderstorm warning out ahead of that. Don't be surprised tomorrow if you get a little sunshine in between any shower or thunderstorm. If that next little thunderstorm that pops up tomorrow doesn't have a little small hail with it. That's a setup that can deliver at least some pea sized hail. Temperatures up for 60s to around 70. So a little cooler than where we have been. Hour by hour forecast. Rains. At least this initial band 
weakening a little into eastern Kentucky this evening. Tomorrow morning, eastern Kentucky, you have a better chance of picking up on some rain. Then here comes that spin right on top of the area tomorrow afternoon. That goes by. We still have some clouds around early Saturday morning. We'll fight some clouds all day. Eastern Kentucky on Saturday, rest of the area with sunshine and 60s. Then as we go into your Sunday morning, it's a little on the cool side with 40s to start out. Computer models still advertising a decent chance to pick up on some downpours that can total local half to one inch amounts. Long range call into next week. Chilly air to the north, warm air to the south that may turn hot. I could see 90s next week from the Carolinas to Florida. Not so much in Kentucky, though we're going to be on the warm side, and that's a pattern with chilly air to the north and warm to the south that can produce a daily threat for some showers and thunderstorms. Speaking of, we'll track those in to central and eastern Kentucky over the next few hours. All right, we know you will, Chris. Yep. Thank you. Brian Milam is next. John Calipari continuing his recruiting of the Northeast. Yeah, Cal has offered a point guard in the class of 2017. The way he plays will look somewhat familiar to UK fans. And tonight, weather permitting, the baseball Wildcats open a three game series with Arkansas. That and much more next in sports. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Like now at Toyota on Nicholasville. Get up to 5,200 off new Toyotas. I'll say that again. Say 5,200 off at Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. At Central Bank, hey. we like to call ourselves your friendly neighborhood financial experts because we get to help an entire community of customers achieve their financial dreams. So whether you're opening a checking account or buying your first home, you've got a team of local experts to coach you all the way. Wow. See what 70 years of experience can do for your financial future with Central Bank. How many times are you gonna drive off with those things? Official Bank of UK Athletics. Folks around here appreciate good basketball and fast thoroughbreds. But most of all, we love our tough, dependable Ram trucks. And when it comes to Ram sales, nobody does it better than Bob Allen Motor Mall. Bob Allen is the number one volume Ram dealer in Kentucky, five years running. And all new Ram purchases include powertrain coverage for life. Save more during Ram Truck Month at the Bob Allen Motor Mall on Maple Avenue in Danville. It's good to be number one. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of Hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It's the one and only cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. With Harvoni, there's no interferon, and there are no complex regimens. Tell your doctor if you have other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hep C specialist if Harvoni is right for you. I sleep extremely hot. I wake up and I just feel like sticky. It's a nice day. My new Temper Breeze stays cool to the touch. Not cold, but cool. It naturally adapts to your body and somehow creates the perfect temperature for you. Sleep cooler. Wake more refreshed. Discover the new Temper Breeze. Now at Sleep Outfitters. Save hundreds on Temper Ergo adjustable bases while supplies last. Plus get 0% APR financing for five years only at Sleep Outfitters. Like now at Toyota on Nicholasville. Get up to 5,200 off new Toyotas. I'll say that again. Save 5,200 off at Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. John Calipari continuing to make the recruiting rounds, and he, along with many others, have offered point guard Tremont Waters. Waters goes 5'11", plays at South Kent in Connecticut, rated the number eight point guard in the class of 2017. Duke also visited Waters yesterday. Calipari watched Waters last weekend in Brooklyn, and he hopes to have his list of schools cut to five later this summer. 
Tonight, weather permitting, 12th ranked baseball Wildcats open a three game series at home against Arkansas. First pitch at 7 p.m. Kentucky going through its toughest stretch of the season right now, just one in five in their last six games. But all of those games have gone down to the final inning. To Gary Henderson, he was caught off guard somewhat that his team didn't finish off U of L Tuesday after leading five to one. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised, but. Uh... You know, it's part of it, and it happens at every level of baseball, and uh, you're never really pleased when, when you're the one to go through it. We've certainly seen guys uh, pitch against us, not perform as well as, as you would expect uh, when the game got tight. I think we played some good baseball. You know, we lost to Vanderbilt by uh, less than three on um, two games, and, you know, played a close game with them then. Lost to Louisville last week in a close game. Now, obviously, last night's a close game. Uh, you know, we feel like we're right in them uh, every game. You know, they're, they're good learning experiences for us, and uh, I think we're taking something out of it and getting better each game. So I think we're I think we're doing okay. The 11th ranked softball Wildcats currently sit in third of the SEC standings, two full games back of Florida and Auburn this weekend. A huge matchup with Alabama. UK is 38 and nine, Bama 39 and eight, and the games are in Tuscaloosa, which doesn't phase the Cats one bit. In fact, Kentucky is 20 and one on the road this year, and they cannot wait to hook up with the Crimson Tide, who has an RPI in the top five. You get a really good feeling of having a really big crowd around you, and I think there'll be a, a great crowd this weekend because right now we're ahead of them in the standings. So I think the Alabama faithful will come out in full drifts. Alabama has a great team, and uh, it's always fun to go down there and play in Alabama. Uh, the crowd's always great, and uh, the atmosphere is just wonderful. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite schools to play at. Um, and uh, yeah, they got a great team, which they do every year, so I think it'll be a good measure for us. Some of the state's best young archers in town for the 2016 KHSAA Archery Championships over at the KBA. The day started with 45 schools and more than 500 archers. It came down to the final four, Trigg County, Pulaski County, Anderson County, and Madison Central. Anderson County's Henry Thompson, a seventh grader, takes individual honors. Madison Central wins the team championship. Anderson County takes third. Former WWE star China died last night at her apartment at age 45. China burst onto the scene in 1997 and became a member of the Generation X, later becoming the first and only woman to win the Intercontin Intercontinental Championship. No cause of death has been released at this time, but a coroner's official said police initially reported it as a possible overdose. That is a look at sports. Let's head back over to the news desk with Sam and Amber. <laughs> All right, Ryan, thank you. A final check in for first letter forecast. I was hoping you'd take your time on that one. <laughs> yeah. And then on the CBS Evening News, the world mourning the loss of music legend Prince Moore and his loss and a look back at his life. You don't have to wear smaller diamonds. Sales three quarter carat bridal sets are eighteen seventy nine. The castle's one carats are the same price. Nobody makes I do as big and affordable as we do. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, get a brand new 2016 CRV, the number one selling SUV, just $229 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. The 2016 CRV comes fully loaded with available Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, and more. Just $229 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda Dealers. Thank you for this, Ariel. The crayons made a big difference. It may not seem like much to you. But it means the world to us. Kroger stores are increasing local community rewards donations to $3.6 million, and you can help decide where that money goes. Sign up at Kroger.com slash community rewards and link your plus card to the local group that matters most to you. When we all join together, there's nothing we can't do. Great food, low prices at Kroger. At Window World, you get the best price right up front. Not just any price. Our lowest price. Guaranteed. Our windows feature the good housekeeping seal. And come with a lifetime limited warranty. Act now and get a house full of windows for as low as $79 a month installed. And save hundreds on siding, doors, shutters, and more. Best products, best service. Best people. Not only do we stand behind our windows, we stand on it. Window World. Preferred window installer of the Big Blue Nation. 
Spring is here, so get out there in a new 2016 Go Anywhere Subaru with symmetrical all-wheel drive. Right now, own a new 2016 Forester for only $23,890 or lease it for just $219 per month. Or own a new 2016 Legacy for only $21,900 or lease it for just $219 per month. Discover why Quantrell is Kentucky's number one sales volume Subaru dealer for the last four years. Come into Quantrell today. We have great lease and finance specials. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Once through, we'll stop Donald Trump. See, Ted Cruz too? He's in your my pape. Who? My pape. Tape? Pape, my pape. The conservative running for Congress who helped Trump build the wall. Will this Mike Pape help Ted Cruz repeal Obamacare? See? We must stop Mike Pape. Vamanos! I'm Mike Pape and I approve this message because no one will stop me from standing up for you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you back here tonight at 11.